Hey, what's up, folks? It's Smith. Uh, Build It With Smith. Uh, I'm your host, Smith. I got a little discombobulated there. Obviously, I'm playing SimCity Build It. Uh, you guys should know that already. And uh, just taking a quick glance over my city, just trying to see what I'm going to do today. Um, always collecting simoleons. Oh, actually, let's go and check out my golden chest. What are we going to get? Oh, I was expecting simoleons somewhere in there. Usually when I get a gold chest, I get simoleons. I don't know. All right. Uh, oh, so we have that mayor's uh, gift game going on full speed. I haven't actually checked in to see what is up for grabs uh, this week, but um, perhaps now will be the time. Looks like we're going to get uh, 50 more eggs, points, whatever, uh, towards our spin. So let's see. Waiting for another one to pop up here. Maybe... I can add more points. Let's see, it appears I don't have that, so that's a drill. Um, so let's go here and see what they have. All right, so I have 800 points. We got the hopping water slide. We have the hair raising coaster. We have the cottontail slide and the over easy rider. I think I like the over easy rider the best. So let's go for a spin. All right, I'm hoping for the over, uh, over easy rider here. And uh, well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get that. So uh, what else can we be hopeful for? Me, uh, uh. Actually, if you guys recall from my last video where I did this like a couple of videos ago, I got the same thing. I'm not looking for expansion items, guys. I actually have a lot of land. And, uh, well, I think that's what we'll do today is try to uh, maybe use some of these um, new items from the uh, current contest of mayors. If you're watching this video, we're in the middle of the Wild West uh, themed items. And I believe they have some more items we'll check out under the landscaping uh, category. So let's put that drill in and let's get on to something better. All right, uh, just noticed this. It appears I lost audio somewhere in this recording. I don't hear anything. I don't know, just me speaking. So we're just going to keep it going and uh, worry about that later. You guys don't mind hearing me acapella, hopefully. Uh, so these are our items that we um, actually EA was so gracious to uh, give me these items Uh so that I can kind of show them to y'all. But uh, hopefully you saw that video with the preview. Now we're going to kind of do a little bit more uh, with this here selection. So we uh, starting out with the uh, Wild West Town Hall and the Horseshoe Stables and the Little Schoolhouse and not enough room for the Cowboy Bank. So uh, we got to do some shifting here. Now, what I was kind of thinking is, uh, I think I might have mentioned this in my last video, is kind of making like a town square, an old school style town square. Maybe these folks here choose to live off the grid, maybe, uh, living old western style. Um, I don't know if you've, uh, you guys have ever been to one of those renaissance festivals. I don't know if they have those wherever you're watching this from, but... There's a such thing as the Renaissance Festivals. Uh, uh, and uh, it's like a whole festival thing where people kind of have a medieval, they dress kind of like in the medieval times. And, uh, you know, okay, kind of like a Comic-Con type of thing, but more medieval, and I think it's outside or something like that. I don't know, maybe that doesn't have anything to do with, with, with this, but I was kind of thinking that maybe these guys will be uh, living in the Western world, uh, you know, kind of off the grid or whatever. So I'm going to give them a little town square and it, uh, it is going to be right across from the university. So, uh, you know, we'll come up with the development story for why this old school wild west is right in the middle of my obvious, uh, obviously modern town there. So, 
come up with that uh, maybe later. Anyway, I think uh, I'm going to kind of make a, you know, like a square here that's going to fit all of the buildings here. And uh, there's probably a better way to arrange them because with each one of these items, your percentage is different. Your population uh, percentage is different. So, uh, well, right now I don't have any buildings around there. So I guess that's not a big thing to worry about. Uh, nothing is getting populated anyway because uh, there's no buildings around. Well, just those four that I started, uh, I got to build. But anyway, um, this is kind of what I was going for. Kind of like a, you know, uh, town square is what we'll call it. The town square right across from Tuesday University. And uh, hopefully you guys are going back and watching all these videos. Uh, I've been working on this city here since... Uh, I think like the first of this year, uh, it's like the 30th time I've demolished and restarted my city. So, uh, all right, let's look at these, um, these other items, which I kind of like, uh, I like these new landscape items. What do you guys think? They're pretty good. Uh, and I think that I can squeeze them right in the center of my town here. So... This dusty desert is only 8,000. Uh, the prairie point is only three keys. So I think we'll start out with some of those. I, I guess I like the prairie point because of the trees and everything. And we'll kind of mix it up here. Put two of those. We'll get a dusty desert with a dusty stagecoach. And so we're not spending a whole lot of uh, our resources. And how about the rocky pastures for 10K uh, simoleons? Not bad. Whoa, this place is dusty, guys. But I think that looks pretty good. It actually looks like it creates a pathway there. You see that? Kind of like a pathway. So uh, this is uh, starting to look pretty good, actually. Uh, there's actually uh, some flavor to this Wild West uh, sort of thing that we got going on here. So I like that. All right, well, um, we've obviously got more room to play with here, so we will um, come up with something else to do. Uh, let's take another road right kind of through the center. It's not actually in the center, but as you can see, we could fit another row of houses right through there. And uh, actually right here, let's, let's take this around and we'll connect this with our uh, beachfront road there. So, all right, here we go. That's how it looks. That's nice and uh, snazzy. Speaking of snazzy, did you guys notice my snazzy hat I have on here today? Uh, I think it's uh, very nice for this video all right so let's do some upgrades and get more points towards our uh, uh, mayor's gift game now we do have a uh, textile home textile I think that's what that is there I was uh, already anticipating this and we need um, one oh we're one short guys we're one short I try to keep my uh, factory stocked if you guys can't tell all right so let's get that one upgraded and we need one more plastic so either we're waiting for nine minutes or we can oh look thomasville thank you thomasville for donating to the cause there's our uh, plastic we're going to use one of those and a refrigerator so good stuff good stuff all right, heading back, let's go ahead and do another uh, upgrade for our buildings here. And uh, I don't know what, what the rest of this area is going to become, but, uh, you know, like whether they're going to be, um, obviously they're going to be regular, regular buildings, but, you know, are they going to be big or tall or what, you know, what is the idea? I don't know. But I figure whatever the theme is for the house has got to kind of go, uh, oh, we have a waste management problem here. Um, well, I don't want to buy another recycling center. I'm just three over. 
Uh, I could wait and get the Omega. That would be good. So let's just continue on. Uh, we don't care if they move out. It's just a couple of folks. So they can wait. All right. Hey, you know, uh, looks like I still have some items here um, that I never got around to using. And they may fit good with this kind of rural, rural, rural uh, area. Uh, don't you guys think? I think so. So let's, um, well... Spend some cash here. Uh, we got to get the tumbleweed station because it looks cool, obviously. And the uh, I guess the train doesn't actually run; it just sits there in the background, kind of like more of a uh, more of a antique type of thing. So let's go ahead and get all the new items that they have added to the landscaping. And what else? Um, well, let's get this horse ranch. It appears that I've made, uh, just enough space for the horse ranch there. And what else can probably fit? Uh, the hot springs. Yes, the hot springs can fit in there also. And what else? Let's see. The, how about the, uh, sheep, sheep's field there? We'll just we're, we're just placing stuff, just getting it out there, and we will arrange it uh, coming up. So there we go. There is uh, what we have here so far. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm sure that uh, I can I can do something with all of this. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, someone's mad. Abandoned building, waste management. Yeah, they're going to bug me about that, but, you know. All right. Uh, let's see. How can I arrange this a little bit better? Uh, maybe I should put the hot springs off the road here. Right off the road so you can get to that. I don't know. We're just trying some stuff here. Um, okay, what else? Okay, so we'll move this here. Those are just kind of trade places, and we'll see. How does that look? Does it really add a difference? Not really. It is convenient that these are both the same size. They're kind of fitting in. They're, they're fitting in pretty nicely. Uh, all right, well, we got some more space to work with. I don't know uh, what our plans are going to be for that, but we definitely got the right elements to make a nice little uh, piece piece of town here uh, let's see what can we do with this for right now we'll just drop that there and uh, oh everybody is upset everyone has moved out now so uh, we don't mind putting this uh, Western Springs right there okay so oh well this is odd uh, so some of these buildings guys they don't actually turn as the other buildings do. They're fixed a certain way. So I think this this is also true for that train station as well. So if you're getting frustrated and you're trying to arrange stuff and it won't snap to a particular road, it's probably because it is permanently orientated a certain direction. And I think that is the case for the sheep's field as well as the um, tumbleweed station. So now you know. All right. Well, uh, oh, look at that scarecrow at night. How nice. Doing his job. Okay, so, uh, well, how's about we... Uh, this actually fits a little bit better. Um, yeah, except for that. We got that space there. Uh, should I... What can I do? Uh, which, which way should I move it? I wonder... Um, hmm. Well, we'll come back. And we're back. And I have uh, definitely kind of turned some things around here. So now we have uh, kind of played with the roads a little bit in order to solve that empty space that we had next to the sheep field. And now it's kind of like a, uh, you know, one of those farm to market roads with a lot of 
nature and pasture and stuff like that so that's what we have going on here now um still got a lot of area to work with and i think i'm going to just try to fill that up with buildings as many as i can uh, hopefully it won't look too weird with uh, right next to this whole area here where obviously there's a lot of nature and uh well oh yeah we've got guys running around in cowboy hats and things like that uh but you know i think that'll bring a good flavor to my town uh we're gonna work it in and it's going to fit into our story the story of my city uh, which is called On a Tuesday, if you guys don't know. Um, so that's just part of the story here. We have a town square where everyone believes that we're still living in the 1800s. Uh, cowboy hats, things like that. So uh, that's just part of it. Um, although I, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, they did a good job this go around with, uh, oh yeah, people are starting to pile up trash. Let's just buy a small garbage dump and put it way in the corner over there and we'll just deal with that later. That way uh, people can start to move back in. We'll, we'll put this, you know, we'll, we'll put that somewhere in the corner. So let's see if we can get some more um, upgrades out of uh, those four buildings that we have, those new buildings. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with what I'm doing, uh, I'm trying to cycle through the potential upgrades, building upgrades and uh, that I have. And all you have to do is click on the uh, hard hat and click the uh, X, the, well, the, like the cancel, I don't know, the circle with the line through it, that button right there. And uh, well, that must have cycled to like other buildings now. Uh, it usually takes 30 minutes for them to reveal what the code or what the uh, recipe is going to be for another upgrade. But you can actually uh, watch an ad, a 30 second ad, and skip your 30 minutes. And you can do that a few times. Eventually, uh, it'll run out and you'll have to wait. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't check this, but uh, all these things appear that they will upgrade to the luxury level which i don't know if i really want i mean i guess you want i guess you kind of do but i kind of don't you know want a luxury skyscraper right next to the tumbleweed station you know it doesn't make a lot of sense but well guys that's it thanks for tuning in be sure to like comment and subscribe to my videos and thanks for watching